Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Brothers and sisters and dear friends Hope you guys are doing well Welcome to my channel I'm going to get straight into it inshallah As you guys know um, Brother Adam Saleh um, Has released a new video I just want to make something clear The reason I'm doing this video is not for Adam Because that's done, that's dusted We've advised him That's khalas, that's done I'm not going to go and repeat myself If somebody is not understanding something Or not accepting or willing to talk and engage Then there's no point My video is not for Adam Saleh Yeah, even though if he watches the benefits, then inshallah he does. If he doesn't, that's not my concern. To me, what is the main concern is the youth that are watching him. Because he doesn't have that concern. He doesn't care um, how he affects the youth. He doesn't care about that. All he cares about, and nobody can come and say this is judging in no way, shape or form, is all he cares about is that from his actions, we need to be very clear. If something looks like a duck and quacks like a duck, we call that a duck. We don't go and start saying, oh no, this, that, etc. You don't know what's in his heart, blah, blah. I'm sorry. I'm not here to insult him, belittle him, nothing like that. I ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to guide him and guide myself. I don't know how my end is going to be. I don't know how his end is going to be. He might repent and turn around, etc. I don't know where, I'm, where I might be. So I'm not here to look down on him because we're all sinners. And the best of sinners, the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, are those who repent. So inshallah, he does repent from this and understand that the uh, material gain of this life, money, cars, girls, etc. This is not going to bring you happiness, especially at the cost of your religion. But anyways, let's watch it and we'll take it from there, inshallah. This is really shocking what he says. Just watch this. And people are saying, oh, you need, a, you need, a, you need to know where you're going to say the day judgment. Like, the day judgment is going to be me there, not you. Look at this, guys. This is what a lot of people say. On the day of judgment, it's going to be me, not you. When somebody says it, sometimes you think to yourself, is day of judgment going to be like, like a walk in the park? Is that going to be like, you know, you chilling on the beach? You know, and then Allah's there just asking you questions and you're just answering. Do you know what the day of judgment means? Anybody that understands what they're saying, when they're saying the day of judgment, anybody that comprehends the words that you're uttering would shiver and would be scared to say that Allah's going to judge me, not you. The one who's made you from despised fluid, made you into what you are today, sustains you, sustains everything in the heavens on the earth, who's made all of this, is going to take you into account on the day of judgment and all you can say is this You need to know where you're going to say the day judgment. Like, the day judgment is going to be me there, not you. So they should focus on everyone's sins in their own way, you know? So basically, what he's trying to say is, let me sin in peace. 
I just want to sin in peace. You can sin in peace. Don't drag the youth down there with you. You do what you want to do. Yeah? You do what you want to do. But don't let other people, don't drag other people down there with you. My dad reacting to All You Can Handle official music video. I just want I was absolutely shocked that he that he went and showed this to his father. His father. But then again, it makes you wonder if somebody can openly not give a damn and care about the Lord that's watching him, his creator, his maker. Then again, the question that needs to be asked is, would he really care about his father watching it? Like, even his dad, you can see it from his face that he's inside cringing, you know? And the thing is, it's for somebody to like, I would rather, I don't know, like, I would rather go under the earth then show my father a woman, a non-mahram woman, licking my face. Licking my face. I would rather go underneath the earth than show my father. And to be honest, I would rather go more underneath the earth than do that. Knowing the one who's created the heavens and the earth that's created all of us. The most merciful. The most forgiving. That Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is watching and you do this in public, like it's public, you share it out there. Every, the Prophet ﷺ said every sinner will be forgiven, except those who sin openly, they expose their sins. Not only are you exposing, you're, you're, you're showing it to your family members. And it's a simple question, brothers and sisters, I want to ask you guys, very simple. I don't know if you guys remember, there was a video, I just want you guys to see as well here, where Adam Saleh clearly says, if anybody in my Yemeni culture, if anybody asks about my mother or my sister's name, it's a very disrespectful thing. Don't ever ask a Yemeni person what's their mom's name or what's their sister's name. I can't and I will never ever say my mom's name in public. I can't even show her on camera. It's all about respect with the Yemeni culture. So when it's your mother and your own sister, it's calm. Nobody come near them, you protect them. And rightly so you should. But when it's other people's sisters and other people's daughters, it's okay. They can come and lick your face. You can be in a bed with them. It's fine, it's normal. To me, that's hypocrisy. That's double standards. Because I ask a simple question. And I ask you guys to ask this to Brother Adam. The fans that you watch. Please, please. I just want one thing you want. Just ask him. Would he allow his own sister, and I'm not talking about a cute little girl. May Allah bless her and keep her safe from this disgusting behavior. Allah, may Allah keep her safe. I'm sure, if I'm not mistaken, he has a sister. Yeah? Would he ever allow his own sister to be in a music video with another man, with another man, and allow that man to be in bed with his own sister, and allow that, uh, allow his sister to lick that man's face. Simple question. Simple question. Yeah? Would he ever allow that? Because he would never do that. And the evidence is that the fact that he, in that video, said, don't even ask my mother or my sister's name. Let alone being in a video. What? Don't even ask their name. Look how protective he is. They don't care about you. Wallahi, they do not care a single damn about you. They don't care. All they care about is the money that enters their pocket. Every time a video comes out, YouTube video, you're making money. They care about money. And this is a gradual step that you see. First it was hugging sisters. Then it was kissing sisters. Then it was inviting them to shisha bars. Then you had girls twerking on you. Yeah, and footages uh, came out, etc. Now it's come to the point where you're making music videos where you don't give a damn, you don't care now. You've crossed that limit now. You use the Muslims, now it's like, okay, now I'm... That's what's happening. But anyways, let's... Maybe his father, you know, would not be affected, it, affect, affected from it as much. He's a grown adult. He's in his maybe late 50s, 60s, etc. But what's more shocking and disgusting is... I'm sorry, I'm going to use the word disgusting because it is disgusting. It's, he goes and shows it to his... Cousins and little sister, etc. I'm just thinking to myself, like, what could be going through somebody's mind to not give a like a damn and just show this to young girls and boys? What impression are you giving to them? Let's watch that. Let's well, let's watch it and look at the reaction of these young innocent individuals. And mashallah, one of them young young girls. She's wearing a hijab, you know. And look at where you're starting it off from, making a watch an explicit video you know uh, uh, like what kind of a role model are you trying to be look at that young boy 
Look at her, look, 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 look. That young girl is twerking. That young girl is actually twerking. Do you know how shocking, how shocking that is? Wallahi, I've seen videos of when, like when you see these young little girls, non-Muslims, and then you have non-Muslims going in an outrage and be like, look, why are you getting this young girl to do this? Non-Muslims. Non-Muslims. And you are a Muslim. You are a Muslim. Nobody's asking you to be perfect. That these people do not care about you. They do not care about you. They do not care about you. They care about making a career for themselves. And if that means coming at the cost of corrupting you, they're going to do that. If a check is put in front of them and they are making large amounts of money, and if that's going to come at the cost of you and, the, and, and his followers, he's going to do that. Because you know why? Because shaitan is not going to come Shaitan is not going to come, look at that video. Shaitan is not going to come and say, do this. Shaitan is not going to come to Adam Saleh and be like, hey, why don't you do a music video da, 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 from the beginning? Because he knows, uh -uh, that's not going to be a good start for you, mate. Your, before your career starts within the Muslim community, it's going to go down. What does Shaitan do? Slowly, 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 step by step. Look how Adam Saleh has changed. What I want to do now is I just want to show you guys. An interview. So he has an, he's, has an, he's having an interview on Asian BBC Radio about this music thing. Yeah, look look at the things that look at the thing that he says. Can you see why some people might assume that you do have a responsibility to maybe maintain a certain uh, image of what a young Muslim is? Can you see why? Because your fan base is so young. But doing this music and this album is, is something that I love doing. It's something that it's I see it as art, and I'm telling a story. Like I'm telling a story to to my viewers I'm, of what's going on in my life. So basically he's saying, he's telling the viewers what's going on in his life. So right now in his life, it looks like girls are licking his face and he's living that lifestyle where there's girls in his bed. I'm not asking him to be perfect. I'm not saying Adam Salah to be perfect. No, no, no. But at least have the shame to hide your sins. Don't corrupt individuals. You, what you want to do with yourself, do it. You know, go. You want to go through your face? You know, like other YouTubers, yeah? This brother is going on a bit of a ignorant face. You have other YouTubers who are going on a pious face, yeah? On a piety face, yeah? That super piety attack, yeah? Brothers, go through your face in private. Don't bring other people into it. You go through your face, but don't affect other people. To be like, oh man, let's just throw the money in the air. Like, yeah. I'm, just, I'm doing it to, as a way to explain myself and a way to tell stories to... Or for people to relate. Or you see, he's not even making sense. He doesn't. I'm being honest. Over here, it doesn't even look like he's. He doesn't know what he's talking about. I'm doing it. Why for money? Oh, um, I'm just trying to tell a story. What story? What are you talking about? Also, too. So, I can see why they think I. I, I need you see that he did not even answer that. Your responsibility to hold. But the thing is, I'm. I'm mean. I've always been the way I am. The same person. If you've been you and you've been always you, the same person as you, then why didn't you from day one? Do this. Why didn't you get these girls and make a music video on day one? Why? Why did the real you come out later? Why not then? Why didn't this happen two years ago, three years ago? Why now? So, to be honest, guys, uh, that's about it. Uh, and hope you guys have benefited. Um, to be honest, it's just a message out there for you guys to understand. Do not fall for public figures. This goes the same with me. If you see me going down this route, automatically unsubscribe, 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 unsubscribe. Simple as. I hope you guys can understand who our Lord is, yes? And he's all forgiving, most merciful. And that we should not easily be able to say, on the day of judgment, it's going to be me. Yeah, I'm, I'm, this shouldn't be coming out of mouth. And hopefully, uh, that's about it for me. Hope you guys have benefited. Please share this with your friends and families. Uh, and let them uh, watch that and benefit from it as well. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.